Before we get into the video, I would just like to say a massive thank you to everyone who has currently watched my liquidation video. As of recording this, it is currently at over 23,000 views and climbing. The support on it has blown my mind. I've also managed to hit my first 100 subscribers, and I truly can't thank you all enough for the support. I would also like to thank some of you for pointing out some stuff that I had missed in my last video. I appreciate all the feedback, and I love the chance to talk with all of you about things I potentially end up missing, and the ideas that you all come up with. With that being said, let's get into the video. Welcome to Game Files Explained. Today's topic, Old Birds, Lethal Company's Deadliest Enemies. With version 50 being officially available to play, there are a few important things I would like to talk about. Most importantly, three new creatures and three new moons. With Old Birds being one of the new enemies with probably the most mystery surrounding it, I decided that I wanted to take a deeper look into the entity and learn all that I could about them. And I managed to find some pretty interesting stuff. So in this video, I will go over all of the information we know about the Old Birds by looking through game files and in-game logs to make sure I hit everything possible. However, I would like to start out by letting you all know that there is the possibility that I got some stuff wrong, because I started writing this script during the time of the beta and wasn't expecting version 50 to come out so soon. With the full release come some changes to things like the old bird log file, and I have done my best to fix everything that got removed slash changed with the release. However, if there is anything I miss, please do let me know down below. Old birds are large humanoid robots with a large spotlight for a head and speakers on their shoulders and chest. They use rocket engines on their legs to fly, and they attack with a vice grip attached to the right arm and a tube on the left arm used to launch rockets at long range and flames at close range. The old bird is an invincible creature, excluding being devoured by the earth leviathan, with a power level of 3. For reference, this is the same power level as the jester or the forest giant. It also has a stun multiplier of 1.2. This equates to being stunned for about 9 seconds with a stun grenade, or 2.1 seconds with a radar booster, also the exact same as the forest giant according to the wiki. Firstly, before we get into the attacks, let's take a quick break to talk about how player health and damage works. In Lethal Company, players have 100 total health, represented by the outline of your character on your UI. And once your health reaches zero, you die. Damage primarily comes from things like entity attacks, turrets, getting hit by another employee, and falling. If your health gets below 20 without dying, you enter a critically injured state, and your stamina bar will disappear. If that gets below 10, your movement speed is severely impaired and you leave behind a trail of blood. More importantly, however, if you have at least 20 health, any attack that would normally be lethal, but happens to deal less than 50 total damage, instead of dying, your health will be reduced to 5. Lastly, if you are critically injured, you will slowly recover health at a rate of 1 per second until you have 20, and your health gets brought back to 100 after leaving a moon. Now that we have that information, the old birds have four attacks that they use to attack players and other creatures. A grab attack, where the old bird will grab you and torch you with its left arm, which is also 100% lethal if grabbed, even through stuns. They have a long range rocket barrage, where the old bird will shoot four to six rockets, each with an attack damage of about 40. And two other attacks, a stomp and a squish. The stomp is simply being stepped on by the old bird, and the squish is when they fly up and try to land on you. The stomp attack does about 10 damage, however, the squish does about 70. This means that it takes on average about 4 rockets to kill a player. The stomp attack isn't really a threat, and you should certainly try to not get squished if at all possible. The old birds have four possible states, dormant, active, flying, and attacking. Old birds spawn in the dormant state at the beginning of the day, unless the moon is eclipsed where some old birds will spawn in the active state. While dormant, old birds will not move or attack, and they can be scanned from the front. Old birds will activate on their own, 
seemingly using an internal timer, with 1pm being the earliest time possible, unless the apparatus is removed. During the active state, they will wander around until they find any living entity. At this point, they will enter their attack mode and play an alarm-like sound effect, named in the files as LRAD Alarm 3. Also, I should quickly mention that the internal ID for the old bird is RADMECH, for future purposes. The flying state is exactly what it sounds like. The old birds will use their rocket feet to fly into the atmosphere and land elsewhere on the moon. One thing to remember is that the old birds can still detect targets on the ground during this state. The last state the old birds can enter is the attacking state. And simply put, this is what happens after an old bird has spotted its target. It will immediately start attacking until it either kills the target or loses line of sight for an extended period of time. preface this section specifically, things get pretty wild with the in-game infolog. With version 50 being released, the old bird infolog lost any text that Sigurd has wrote. This includes the threat level and the full caps at the end of the log. However, they were definitely in the log during the beta. Where it gets weird is that, looking at some of the footage of the log from the first day of the beta, the Sigurd section also wasn't in there. It was added in throughout the middle of the beta period. This means that it was added in only to be removed again upon release. There is the chance that Zeekers added it in without realizing that it messed with the current lore, and if that's the case, then this next part doesn't really matter. However, it seems more methodical, considering at the time of writing this section, the secret part of the logs were added around 9 days ago. That's plenty of time to remove a mistake considering other updates were added to the beta. To me, it seems like this could be more of a cover-up by the company, editing logs retroactively as they are found. Obviously, this is all pure speculation, and I don't really have much information to back it up, but definitely let me know what you all think. I'm putting the game files and in-game logs into the same category because they are very similar in principle. And the first I wanted to talk about was the audio files associated with the old bird. Five files in particular. I will play the sounds a bit quieter in the background while I talk about them. The names of these files are LRAD Brainwashing Signal 1, which sounds sort of like a siren or alarm, LRAD Brainwashing Signal 4, which sounds sort of like a distorted recording of a radio clip or a phone call, LRAD Brainwashing Signal 6, which is clearly the cries of a young child, LRAD Brainwashing Signal 7, happens to be more child cries, and LRAD Brainwashing Signal 8, which sounds like a very distorted version of an animal's cries. More specifically, however, I wanted to talk about Brainwashing Signal 4, the highly distorted recording of what sounds like a phone call or something similar. Me and a Verberon spent a little while trying to work out what it says by messing with the audio in Audacity to try to remove some of that background noise and isolate the vocals, then tune them to be more legible. However, we weren't really able to get much out of it. Just a small portion we have a pretty solid idea of. What we got was this. The beginning part sounds like, hey, uh, we'll look at the blank deal. Then there's a small section that we can't figure out, and we hear what sounds like in my desk, then another small area we can't get, and at the last bit, it sounds like you hear something like blank might not be qualified, but know the code blank. And then it sounds like the code is something similar to Alexa, but with an E at the beginning. However, we don't really have the audio know-how to be able to actually clean it up enough to really hear what it's saying. So this is all purely speculation on what we were able to hear. None of this is definitive. This part is a little out there, but I am adding it in because I haven't really seen anyone talk about it. And I'm hoping to change that. I feel there is something very important here to the story of Lethal Company and would love to see this file restored to hear what is being said. Lastly, I would like to talk about the old bird log. This gives us a bit of information about the old bird, some secrets to find in version 50, and a small amount of lore on two new factions we have yet to hear of, plus another reference to the boat. In the log file, the old bird is referred to by many names. These include Old Bird, named after art made in the year 2387 by a street artist named Land Irie depicting the old birds flying and landing between planets 
in an arrangement similar to a flock of geese. This being generally considered one of the most iconic and influential images of modern culture and solidified the modern nickname. They were historically referred to as ALs or ALs based on the code name given to them by the English military, the A16L31. They were also often called the walking ransom letter given how dangerous they are and their mysterious nature when it comes to their creation. We learn a few more notable things about the old birds. Like, for instance, according to their supposed programming, they are not supposed to be able to move to a new planet. However, it also states that there are unverified accounts of old birds traveling autonomously to new planets, which we know to be true because they can be found on many of the previous moons, not just new ones. We also learn of two new groups, the Anglin Empire and the Bumok Military. The only things we learn of these groups is that they had rising tension between them throughout the 2100s, and that the Anglin capital was invaded by over 50 old birds. Although nothing has been proven, speculating on what we learned, there is the possibility that the Bumok military manufactured the old birds for the purpose of invading the Anglin Empire, but nothing truly points to this. Lastly, we learn of a new moon, 5 Embryon, a small moon made of amethyst that was condemned by the boat because of the immense amounts of old birds on this moon. We also learned that the old birds invaded and decimated the people that lived on Artifice, another new moon in this update, through its short log. Coming back to writing this section after version 50 was released, some stuff about the log files has changed. The section of the log where it talks about the old birds' first recorded appearance and the two new factions, the Anglin Empire and Bumok Military, has been removed from the log file. I just wanted to state this fact in case it is a retcon of information added before. I feel this is related to the speculation of a cover up that I spoke about before. I simply just wanted to cover all my bases in case I missed anything or the sections that were removed get confirmed to be retconned information. And that's really all I have. I want to thank you all for watching and again I want to thank you all for the support on my last video and on the channel. This video took a little longer than the other one to make, it has been in the works for about 2 weeks now maybe a little less. It went into a lot more detail than the last one, and I sincerely hope you all enjoy it. I would also like to quickly give a big thanks to Averberon for helping me with a lot of this. We spent about 48 hours going through a lot of the audio files and trying to decipher what they said. That's about it from me, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you all in the next one.